Alright, this time it's going to be on a to-do list uh, command line app. It's called todo.txt and it works cross-platform uh, even on your mobile device like your Android and I believe iPhone also. Um, it does work on Windows, Linux, and Mac uh, I believe. Anyways, when I use the, the command line version uh, for Linux here so it's not in your repositories you're gonna have to manually set up yourself so we're gonna copy this sucker and put it wherever you want I put it in my script uh, package folder here so we're gonna use git uh, clone and we're gonna paste in the link here and that's it we're gonna cd into the folder and list it out here. So the only thing that we have to set up here is the to do dot sh. Basically this is the whole program and um, if you want to use completion or auto completion for it only works on bash so this one's the bash one okay. Um, so let's set it up here. Uh, I'm gonna use vim and we're gonna go into our what's that dot bash rc and really all you gotta do in here is set up an alias they recommend it just using T um, for the alias and then you point it to you know wherever your to do dot sh is located at and here is for the auto completion so this is all you gotta type in here so if the file exists then um, source the file alright and that's it that's all you gotta do Save that sucker and make sure you reload your bash RC. Either you know exit and then open it again or whatever. Um, and afterwards we can use it now. So I'll show you some options here. Let's say you want to add something. Um, so you go T and add, and then we type in our string. Let's say meeting um, with I don't know Bob or some shit. All right at noon so we have one uh, this is a different way to add to so you go T and just put A you don't have to put you know the DD on it also so the next string would say go I don't know bike riding or something um, there's also this other one I'm not really sure what the, the difference is but you know add M and they give you this little thing. Um, anyways, you can add this way also. So you go, what's that? Uh, dinner at I don't know Burger King. I'm not sure. All right. Um, they also have this other thing called context in projects. So let me clear this here. But let's say you add something and you want to you know do do like a message we'll say uh, what is that meet doctor or some shit and then we'll put this um, they call this context right the little at sign and you can you know give it whatever context you want we'll call this medical or something like that if I spell that right I think that's right All right that's one thing there's another one is what is it called or you can type in whatever string like um oh it's it uh make screencast or something and we'll put if they use the plus sign this is for projects so we'll call this um project youtube or something and that's what you got you know you do have some like um i don't know let's add another one uh appointment with dentist, right? And we'll call this, or we'll, we'll put the context medical also. Uh, so that's what they got there that you can do. Now, let's say you have all that and you want to see your list. So you go T and you type in list, or you can type in T and then, you know, the LS, uh, which, uh, you know, Linux users are used to, okay? Uh, so that's what they got and then um, what else we can do here so if you want to list out or you want to like just find like the string that you want 
let's say you have like a you know a millions to do list but let's say you want to T list out but we just want to list out um, you know the thing that we wrote or whatever so we just type in like a string that we want like King and it's oh, okay dinner at Burger King or whatever uh, I can do this for what was that the context also so if we go um, medical it'll list out the two medicals that we have right appointment with dentist meet doctor um, so that's what you can do same thing with was that the the projects what was our project like YouTube or some shit right there you go this that thing with YouTube um, if you want to like prioritize it so right now there's no priority like you know urgency of um, the list okay but if you want to prioritize it we go T and P is what prioritize or P or I if you want but I like to use a short P and you can say okay uh, the emergency is number four we'll meet the doctor okay so we go four so you know that's a priority there Oh no, you have to um, assign it from A to Z. So, for example, uh, T, P for priority, the number in our list is 4, and then you have to assign it to a letter. So, A will be the most urgent, right? And you can do this for all the other ones too if you want. So, let's say, for example, we're not going to do, we'll do uh, 5, and we'll call this urgency uh, level D, okay? And you can see that when we list it out now, let me clear this here. Right? You see that the A and the D here for urgency. Uh, they have like color coding. Like if I did another one, let's say for example, priority for number six, we'll call this B. And <clears throat> clear this again. So now that you can see that they have like uh, a yellow color a green color, a bold white color. Um, so that's a priority. Now if you just, you just want to list out the priority only uh, instead of all these other like non uh, urgent matters or whatever you can go T and LSP and it will just list out you know the one that you, you set it to a priority. All right. Um, what else is the one they have? If me, me, if you want to get help, you can go T dash H, <clears throat> and you can see that um, you know this is all the commands that they has. Um, <clears throat> what else do they have in here? So if you want to list out, like let's say, for example, uh, your projects, your um, contacts, uh, or even just your priority, like I did before. Um, let me show you here. So if you go T L S P and that's the priority. The other one is uh C for context. So the context that we did was uh the medical. Now if you want to do this for project is uh P R J for project and you see that the project that we have is YouTube only. Alright. And let's go back to the help because I forgot what the hell the other ones are. Oh, okay, let's say you want to remove or, or like complete something. Um well, we can do that too and so let's list it out again here we go let's say we don't want this one anymore number one okay uh, you can go T uh, RM which I don't like to use RM I like to use the delete because you know it might have accidents or something so delete number one and now I say do you want to delete this why for yes and I say it deletes it so you can see that we list it out again that thing's been deleted, right? Um, what other ones are we gonna do? Oh, let's say you completed the task. So, uh, if we complete it, we we'll say do, or I think it's short for done, right? T do, and then we do number four, which is you know the first one there, and that's it. Now it's it's done. It will get rid of from our list. So if we go T L T L S here that thing is is done already you know the A level is done and now we have just four left um, 
even if you completed it, you can actually still see what you have done in the past if you go T L S A for all and you can see that um this one that we got rid of it's uh it has a zero, it has a little X here. That means we already completed it. Although you can still see it if you want, and they give you a date and all that. So, you know, if you're like uh did a lot of stuff and you want to see uh you know your history of what you've done and give yourself a pat in the back, you can do that there. All right. But basically that's the program. Pretty cool. Uh if you have it like in your Android, I think you can sync it also. I saw some videos on that. Um but if you're a command line person and you want to just get a simple to-do list program, this is really good, all right? Uh, another thing that I forgot to say is the auto completion. What the hell is that? This auto completion here, if you set it to an alias T, then you're going to have to go into the to do um, completion here. And at the end, um, what is that? At the end here, it tells you that if you're going to use an alias uh, equal to T here, then you want to uncomment this last line here. Okay, so we're just going to delete the, the last line here. And that's it. That's all you got to do. And now you can actually do, I believe, let me see here. Let me refresh it here. But now if you do like T and put A here and then you push tab, you can see that you can toggle through it, all right? So that's the auto completion uh if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can type in T-H and get some more help and push Q to quit. And so that's the program. I'm talking too long here. Use it if you want. That's it for this one.